Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, this sister says, my husband and I have one child, alhamdulillah. Is it Islamically permissible for us to only have one child and no more? Um, there's a couple of reasons that I mentioned. There's a medical issue. So I had a very difficult delivery and dangerous complications with the child that could happen again in future pregnancies. And secondly, we don't make much money and we need to work, but can't afford children. So in answering this question, there are two things that you mentioned. The first one is, um, and let me mention when I say the first one, it's the second one that you mentioned. And that is as Muslims, we should not you know, defer having any children or say we're not going to have any children because we can't afford it. We can't afford it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who provides. And with every human being, there is a risk, there is a provision that comes along with them. So we should not put ourselves in a situation saying that we can't afford children. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who provides. If it is dunya that we are seeking, um, then okay, you will uh, sacrifice not having any children. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want for this from us, nor did the Prophet advise us to be like this. Rather, the complete opposite actually is that we should have large, large families. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless that family and provide for that family. So this isn't really, if you like, a sufficient or a good excuse to have. Have trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala concerning your provisions. Secondly, um, with regards to uh, complications in the birth, I mean, um, I'm not sure what they were. If it was a natural birth and something happened, then, you know, at times when there is a complicated natural birth, then at times they, uh, they recommend having a caesarean. And this is a way um, that you don't face those complications again. So if there's a way around that, then you can look at that as well. You, it's not mentioned in the question what they were. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows uh, what those issues were. And in any case, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy. But this is a general advice. Uh, and that would be that if you can have, you can have children, you should have children. Uh, you shouldn't just, uh, just stop having children. Yeah, of course, there are certain circumstances where there may be some issues. Um, but if, again, if the situation is made a little more detailed, I could give a more detailed answer and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is best.